Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Real Tarot with Renee. I thank you guys so much for your patience for your next reading. It's crazy in these streets. You know, we've been having a, a really um, crazy winter. A lot, a lot of parts of the country has, but um, I'm in Los Angeles and it has been cold. We ain't used to this kind of weather. We don't know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> Constant raining, day in, day out, nonstop. Whew, not just rain, but <laughs> hail and snow. <laughs> We've been going through it, y'all. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I truly appreciate you guys. Spirit is ready to gossip. Oh, I saw the eight of wands. Fast communication coming in. Listen. Let's see what the energy is pulling. Okay, but spirit, somebody's in a nine of swords. I just want to shuffle these cards. I know until you like to shuffle the cards in front of y'all. You guys, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button if you guys come in to watch this video. Spirit is ready, ready to get this reading going because there is things that you guys need to know for your highest good. First of all, that you guys do have love coming in, collective. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's pissing people off. Um, people who try to work against you, it's, <laughs> it's all in the energy. I'm telling you guys right you know, people who tried to blackmail you set you up or whatever they're reaping karma let's get into it spirit Come on. divine spirit holy spirit give me honest messages beyond the white light of tarot for the collective side is good i saw the empress and the devil shall somebody is obsessing over you if you guys are empress energy or libra taurus baby let's get into it Make sure these cards is in the upright. Oh my goodness. Okay, temperance is here. Woo! So, listen, balance is need to be restored or it's going to be restored in the situation. Listen, definitely some type of change is happening. That's 14. 14. One plus four, that's five. Sagittarian energy. Yep, there's a nine of swords, just like I told y'all. It's in despair. Somebody is stressed over you. So that, this is the energy of somebody definitely wanting to bring something, some um, some reconciliation, something into balance with you. There's stress and the Knight of Swords. I feel the energy of something is not going someone's way or has not been going someone's way ever since, I don't know, what's been going on with y'all. Come on. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. They, yeah, they, they want to be with you. They, they really want... Ten of Pentacles is his family. Ten of Cups. Listen, you're their complete wish fulfillment. They want this with you. And they're going to take this leap of faith forward towards you. For some of you guys, this is also an energy of they've been having stress and anxiety over family matters when it comes to you. Because that some for some of you guys, someone is having to leave out a family situation in order to take this leap of faith towards you. Okay, the full card of clearing energy. Someone is trying to to figure it out but it's stressful they could be stressed by family situation but this is definitely them wanting a family with you you're what you're their wishes you're their dreams their wishes their aspirations all of that okay they want this with you for sure you are their complete uh f wish fulfillment okay ten of cups is a really good place to be in right this is total love support. They feel this way about you, but they could have felt like they have not had this within their family. We got two flippers, the hangman and eight of pentacles. Okay. So this is also telling me that this is somebody is in a nine of swords too, because somebody has been doing a lot of work with the eight of pentacles to keep them stuck in a situation. And the eight of pentacles came right underneath 10 of pentacles, which is family situation. Definitely a, a family dynamic in some way. Yeah. They're trying to keep you guys from having this um this level up this equal give and take six of pentacles hmm. there's interference here for sure but i feel like someone they're gonna put the hard work in um when they take this leap of faith on the bottom row here uh, they're going to come out of this stuck energy for sure to put in the hard work to give you an equal give and take. But as I read it this way, there's family members who's been working against this, okay? Which is why your person is in the Knight of Swords. They felt stuck. They felt uh, restricted in some way. They're going to take the leap of faith. Don't worry. 
Okay. Give me a third roll because we're very nosy here at Real Love Tarot. <laughs> Drop it. Okay, Spirit. What do we need to know? The Emperor, Aries Energy. Yeah, it's taking it. Yeah, they're getting their act together. You guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Don't have to be. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to adjust this camera, child. It's it's now not the not not it trying to dim on me. Let's not dim, okay? <laughs> See, I'm telling you the the weather it goes like very gloomy. Then the sun will come out, and then it don't know what it really want to do. Okay, but listen. Let me just um, move it this way. I don't want to move the camera too much because I'm trying to give you guys a good view of the cards um, because I don't want my camera to fall. <laughs> listen, listen. This emperor is definitely taking a leap of faith. That's a lot, spirit. All the gossiping. Thank you. Yep, nine of wands. Coming in as that wounded warrior, okay? Okay. Um, and I, you know, this is also an energy too, is that your person is finally setting boundaries for a situation. Mm -hmm. Queen of cups. Yeah. When it comes to you, right? You could be the, in the queen of cups energy uh, collective, or this could be a mother figure that's in their life who, um, you know, who's could have been causing some type of strife or whatever. Yeah, but there will be forward movement with the two of wands. Yeah. So your person, but that's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. The the major energy I feel here is that your emperor, this could be you, you, them, take it out, resonates with the rose that fits in your storyline. But hear me out. Um, the Knight of Wands. This is this is someone who was dealing with a lot of blockages, okay, as well. Nine of Swords to the Hangman to the Nine of Wands, lots of blockages, and this has been keeping your person pretty frustrated as I as anybody would be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you, but they're bringing in, you're getting, you're getting karmic justice, Libra gang gang, that's you. Yeah, and somebody, yeah, because somebody feels left out in the cold, right? Mm hmm. Yep, and judgment in the reverse. They made a judgment and error, a uh, error in judgment, I should say, rather, right? For leaving you out in the cold. Now they want to bring you a uh, karmic justice, and that's just that. So, yeah, we have five uh, justice to the five of pentacles and um, the judgment, right, in the reverse. So um, your person could is um, also leaving someone out in the cold, okay, in order to come to you, towards you. And for a lot of you guys, that is a fi uh, family dynamic, okay, um, that they're walking away from, whether this is a marriage, their actual family members, uh, friends, you know, people who are no longer serving them for their highest good. Knight of Wands energy. There's that Sag, yeah. And the bottom of the deck. Yep, they made a judgment and error. And there's the six of cups reconciliation here. Okay, this person is missing you and they want to be in calmer waters with you with the six of swords. Okay, they're moving to calmer waters. It did fall out in the upright here. We just set these on the side here with the page of swords energy. Okay, so they're watching you. You guys are being watched, okay? There's there's people watching you, okay? But they're they're watching you to see when it's a good time to travel towards you using their higher higher intuition here with the high priestess card, okay? So things are gonna be happen, but for some of you guys, this person is going to have to either sneak away or um these are they are they found out that there was some deception um surrounding you guys' connection um someone could have lied about you gossiped about you because a page of swords is also the energy of gossip um you know stalking or whatever um uh, your person learned out some truth okay um about some deception um, or they're coming in towards you after some type of deception and they're using their uh, highest intuition. They're seeing things for what it really is, okay? Um, I see also, to an energy of... It's like they... The Nine of Swords tells me a lot here when it comes to this connection that you're in with your person, especially dealing with family matters or whatever, because um, part of the issue here is that um, 
there 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 was for whatever the for for whatever reason this family did not want you or friends or whatever the case may be thank you a uh, three of swords did not want you to be you and your person to be together three of swords okay and this kept you uh you and your person or ticket our resonates in heartbreak okay your person is tired of it and they're letting it go i got two flippers here yeah they're coming in king of wands four wands come on come on twin flame yeah you don't have to be in a twin flame this could be a higher level so so make connection but listen we got the king of cups four of wands right four of wands is my 11 11 card and re i see that you see the two uh uh torches here that twin flame they're 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 lit up right let me get a little closer so you know double double that's like twin and they're on fire that's flames twin flame this person really wants to come in as the king of cups with you very um very much a divine feminine divine masculine energy in its truest form okay um it is the energy so switch the roles but listen this is a true masculine who's coming in in the king of cups energy who wants to bring you this higher level of commitment which is the four of wands okay that's marriage unity or whatever they're heartbroken without you this is a person who feels really lost um um very much missing you behind the scenes um whether they express it or not okay they want to be with you and give you um something really huge ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck yeah refusing to communicate to avoid the truth um whoever has been lying to them deceiving them or this could have been them with you or both ticket heart resonates okay I'm just gonna pull a few intuitive cards because I wanna I wanna get some more information before I start clarifying with tarot. Okay, let's just see what's going on. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here, the world. Yes, yeah, something has definitely come to an end. Okay. Um th they closed out a cycle, okay. Genuinely loving and kind, because you are genuinely loving and kind, collective. This person could have been very cocky and overrating themselves in the past, okay? And re in reality, you are deserving of everything you wish for. Your person knows this, okay? Lovingly, genuinely loving and kind, and they've been isolating themselves and suffering in silence, um, belongs to you, okay? Um, because for some of them, they see you having a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, that's your money, okay? You guys are being abundantly rewarded, okay, for closing out a cycle. Um, and this is either you or your person or both of you guys um, could have gone through this. I feel like for some of you guys, collective, you could have awakened to this connection before your person. And your person is finally uh, following suit. But that's after they've been um, caught in some type of illusion uh, when it comes to a family dynamic or just people in their ear. Ticket how it resonates, okay? So I'm going to just leave these cards here. Yeah, somebody and also two, three of swords coming out, coming out after the seven of swords. Whatever information your person received, okay, or they finally used their intuition up about, it really broke their heart even deeper because it's just like they really want um, a loving, um, beautiful connection with you. But there is somebody that's been in their ear. I saw Ace, uh, that's Knight of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Cups here on the split. Yeah, Knight of, Knight of uh, the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. They want to come in as that Prince Charming and give you the world. Listen, but they, there was other people in your connection. This Ten of Pentacles. Um, Ten of Pentacles is also your money as well. But in this case, because the way the cards fell out, uh, Ten of Pentacles fell between the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So this is telling me that it's more related to a family dynamic or family situation that your person, yeah, is rushing away from. Yeah, yeah, Knight of Swords energy clarified by the Temperance card. Your person, Aquarian energy, is definitely um, moving full speed ahead when it comes to you. They can't believe they even allow um, outside interference um, to be, um, you know, to have come and reclaim your connection. Uh, but they're coming to fix this, okay? Nine of Swords, Spirit. That's a lot. Give me one. What's the Nine of Swords for the Collective? What's the Nine of Swords for the Collective? Yeah. Queen of Cups. There you are. They're stressed out about you. Or at the end, and or this could also be a mother figure. 
um, that they that's been stressing them out that they're they could be moving away from. But I feel like they're coming towards you. You guys are you, uh, collective in this case. I don't. It the third party is here. We know that, but honestly, I feel this is the energy of um, with the Temperance Angel to the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Cups. This person is rushing towards you. You're a loving energy. It says it right here in the intuitive deck. That's why I wanted to pull a few cards first before I got to um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, verifying with uh, the tarot. See, the Queen of Cups is genuinely loving and kind. They're a natural nurturer, and this is why this person wants to come towards you. They've been lacking that in their lives. Yep, Eight of Wands fell right out, and this is a whole new deck. I saw it in the first spread, but I shuffled it in there. Yeah, they want to communicate to you about what's been going on behind the scenes with this Ten of Pentacles, this family situation. Okay, Queen of Cups. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could have those uh, heavily uh, somewhere in your chart. Um, but you could just be embodying that energy, right? It could be any sign. Yeah, page of cups. Yep. And they, they're going to tell you how much they love you. They're going to bring you this love to clarifying to, to page of cups, clarifying the 10 of cups. They have lots of love for you. This person is in love with you. Wow. They really love you. They really love you. They, you know, and this person is in the Knight of Swords because, them being away from you, they they they're kicking themselves. They wish they would have never listened to these people. Two of Wands. There's a four movement. Yeah, clarifying the full card. There's a lot of action on this board. Yep, Aries energy with the Two of Wands. Lots of action on this board. Let's see. Yeah, Four of Swords. Earned rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they want to lay something to rest. You know, they want to come out of this stuck energy. They don't want to live in the past anymore you know they're seeing they do see things from a higher perspective they see things your way you're about to learn this really fast okay three of pentacles yeah and they're gonna let you know that you know they do want to work with you but you're also about to learn about here's this three of pentacles a third party working against you guys connection this is what i energetically feel three of pentacles to the eight of pentacles this is like multiple people working against you and they're moving forward away from these energies what is it spirit yep the world yeah hollow completion yeah this is something it's not over Woo! it's not over so when you have the world card in the reverse clarifying the six of pentacles it's something they can't they can't let this go they can't let it go to six of pentacles they want to bring in they want balance in this connection and they want a new start with you they want to start over. They don't want something to end, nor are they going to let anything in. But let me tell you something. This, this third party, even though it's not the Three of Cups, it's the Three of Pentacles, but I read them both the same way, depending on how the cards fall out. They, they, they're, you guys are about to get all the tea about what's been going on with your person. Damn, these fell out in the reverse. What's going on, spirit? Judgment in the reverse, which was in the reverse here. It's over here in the reverse, okay? So it came out here, judgment in the reverse, as well as judgment in the reverse here, okay? In the reverse, we got the hermit in the reverse and three of wands in reverse. Yeah, they, your person, due to their, uh, they're, they're suffering some consequences for their actions or lack of judgment, and it's, it, it, pretty much set your person back. They had some unexpected setbacks, either you or them. And because of this hermit in the reverse, they put themselves into self-isolation, okay? Trying to figure things out. So you guys could have been expecting your person in the past. Um, this is past energy, right? Um, for some of you guys, it's current energy, but they're figuring it out. Negative consequences for the actions that's been taking against you, okay? You're per dealing with this third party situation, this family, listening to them, you know, um, letting them control situations, you know what I'm saying? It's caused your person negative consequences and ultimately setting them back from being able to travel towards you with the three of wands being in the reverse. That's lack of movement. All right. The hermit in the reverse is like them going into sight. Uh, self-isolation in the upright um, is basically in the upright it's Virgo energy nonetheless but that's them doing self you know um, soul searching you know inner healing and things like that but in the reverse it's just you know 
them being isolated, isolating themselves, not really wanting to be bothered with anybody, deal with anybody, um, talk to anybody. It's just like they're over everything and everyone at this point. Um, really the energy of being pissed, to be honest. I would just keep it a buck. Um, your person, you know, definitely wants to kick somebody's ass. I'll just keep it a buck here, okay? So <laughs> this is the emperor, clarifying the emperor. I said it on the side so I could talk to you guys, but this is clarifying the emperor. This is the energy that your person is in. Um, you know, they, they're they suffering consequences for sure. Yeah, a lot of hidden secrets and emotions with the moon card here. They, they're coming out of illusions, right? Right. Uh, well, they've been in illusions, right? You know, um, for some of you guys, but this is your person being deep in their emotions. Um, 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 Pisces energy. There's been a, and they're guarded because there's a lot of secrets um, that may have, it's in the upright. So the secrets, they, they may have secrets to tell you. Um, and they could they could have also le uh, possibly learned about some secrets too when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, energy, okay, to the Queen of Cups, yeah. What also this is an energy of I'm. This is like they they're holding these emotions about how they really feel about you, right? They see you as the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Um, take it how it resonates because they could be having they could have learned secrets about a mother figure their actual birth mother or the, you know, or a mother figure in their life, child, baby mama, who knows, um, that they're not so happy about. Um, this queen of pentacles could have also been holding your person back from forward movement when it comes, because they don't want you guys to be together, but this is also your person sees you as this. Yeah. Page of swords. Yeah. So, this person, this queen of pentacles, I feel like this is the mother figure. I'm going to just be honest. Um, it's watching you as well to see if your person has moved towards you. They're waiting and watching, right? Two, two of uh, wands is someone waiting for their ships to come in as well. Yep. They, you know, they want, um, they, there's forward movement for sure. But someone's watching to see if you guys... Yeah, Queen of Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, to see if they're coming towards your pretty ass. Yep, and that has them in the Eight of Swords energy. Wow, lots of mental conflict, conflict, chaos, and mayhem. Ooh, child, the stress. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because they know that at the end of the day, it's just like you. Once you and your person gets together, the Ten of Pentacles. It's just like this is gold. They know that you guys are going to be in this Ten of Pentacles. They're watching and waiting to see. And that has them in so much regret. Yep, Five of Cups energy. Yep, yep, because your person is walking away. They're walking away. Eight of Cups energy from what no longer serves them. And so this Queen of Pentacles is watching to see, you know, are they going towards the Queen of Cups? Right? Mm-hmm. They are. They are. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. It's been taking them a, a minute. Nine of Pentacles, slow, slow moving, but their but their person is being very patient and very strategic on how they move towards you, uh, collective. The star energy. Yeah, they're waiting for the bright opportunity to have this forward movement. Yeah, because you're the wish fulfillment. Yeah, Aquarian energy. Your person could have Aquarian in their chart. Yep. They're gonna give you the six, uh, this uh this equal give and take with the six of pentacles here to have yep, yeah, period. Four of wands out again. This your soulmate, this y'all twin. For some of you guys, you are in a twin flame soul, uh soulmate connect slash soulmate connection, because your twin flame could also be your soulmate as well. Some of, you, some of you guys, is just a really deep soulmate connection. Your person is coming for you, period, dot. It's nothing nobody could do or say. Yep, listen, seven of pentacles, the, all the delays that somebody is, <laughs> that shit is changing. The will has definitely turned. Will of fortune in the upright with your money. And you're about to have this beautiful uh, new beginning with the ace of wands. Don't play with her. Yeah, your person had to learn some really hard lessons here. Your person could also be getting uh, spiritual guidance as well. Give me two. King of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. They made the decision. 
Oh, yeah, because they know with being with you, you're secure, you're secure abundance. You guys could be in the King of Pentacles energy. Doesn't matter if you're a divine feminine or masculine. They know that coming towards you, you gonna get it's gonna be a windfall of success, opportunities, love, real love that your person craves. Okay, I'm gonna pull these cards. Okay, go ahead and rewind the video. Um you know, to get any specific notes about your situation um, or where it resonates. Yeah, ciao. Y'all about to piss a lot of people off, but that's not your problem. It's not your problem, you know, because people made the decisions that they did and y'all making the decisions y'all making, you know, for your happiness. You know, people really went out of their way. Thank you, Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck to keep you from this love union or whatever. I mean, it really... um really planted some nasty uh you know seeds in someone someone's head either your head your person's head both your heads or uh, whatever to keep you guys apart you know and i think things are completely backfiring um this guy a lot this guy motherfuckers and they feelings like in an uproar to be honest your person is kicking themselves in the ass for listening to these other energies oh child the stress of it all but you guys, don't worry. You know, you guys are going to be protected. Everything, you're going to have forward movement, okay? Let's just get into the love oracle here because I feel like it is so necessary. <laughs> you have to get more information about this. Ciao. I know. Give me messages, Spirit, from the love oracle for the collective's highest good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What I say, I feel empty without you. Your person misses you. They love you. Yeah. This one flip didn't flip. Can we start over? I told you they wanted to restart. That's why the world card flipped over in the reverse. It's not over. They want to restart with you. Yeah. You all. Oh my. You are the person of my dreams. Absolutely. Fights, arguments, and conflict in, in the background. Yeah. With this Queen of Pentacles energy or this family dynamic, take it how it resonates. Yeah, because you're they're leaving them to come towards you. And they've been trying to hold your person back with everything in their and their power. Do you hear me? Any and everything that you know, it's a lot going on behind the scenes that you um but not see you guys. But what I tell y'all, don't play with me. Don't play with her, don't play with her, don't play with her. I told y'all this is your twin flame. <laughs> Listen, they and let me tell you, some of y'all, y'all, they, y'all people, or y'all persons, people know this. They know this because once y'all connect, it's a wrap for they ass. I was pretending to be someone else. Yep, they was pretending not to be your twin flame, pretending not to love you, pretending not to care about you, and the reality is, it's killing them. It's killing them, and you love them so much. Oh, babies, yes, you do. You. Yeah, I dive in and out of relationships. Yeah, this and this could be long distance too. So yeah, this is a thing. This is why there's a there's been delays and stuff with your person coming towards you because I felt like too. Um, somebody was trying to eat your person. I am being so nosy. Somebody is like, I can see messages come in. So if y'all if y'all see Afro um, hanging on the side, that's because I'm getting my hair done. <laughs> Listen, listen, long distance, and you know, your person was diving in and out of relationships, not really committing to them because in reality, you're, you're the person of their dreams. Those other people weren't. That's why they were diving in and out of those relationships. You guys could be at a distance from each other for sure. This is why, um, it's been an issue with, uh, uh, travel for your person, but that's about to change. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Some of you guys, this is a long uh, distance relationship. I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Yeah. So your person, when they realized who you were to them, they, they ran from the connection. I wish I could take it all back. Yeah. They ran to the connection. They ran from the connection and, you know, they wanted to make it like, you know, they wanted you to feel a certain way when in reality it was them. Yeah. Now they're sitting here reminiscing about you. Reminisce on the love we had. 
Hey, that's no, fine. <laughs> Basically, that's what's going on. Leave that there. But yeah, so your person is kicking themselves. You know what I'm saying? They wish they could take it all back. They wish they never fell out with you. They wish they never listened to these other energies, these people, these so-called family members that they love dearly. You know, which is why they listen to them. But it's not making them happy. You know, they were. Um, I feel like your person was satisfying everybody's wants and needs versus their own. And the reality is the part of their wants and needs was y'all. Your person, if you think this person don't love you, you, you're highly mistaken. They do. What else, Spirit, from the intuitive deck? Yeah, the damage is irreversible, some of them feel. Yeah, for some of you guys, you feel like they can't come back from it. Some of you guys, you can. 50-50 energy, I feel here. Yeah, yeah, and they can't let you go. Just like I said, they can't. And Spirit is confirming what I said. This is a thick-ass deck, so I don't know what's about to fall out. Okay, drop it, Spirit. Okay. Yeah. Moon, which came out in the tarot. Yeah. Hidden secrets and emotions. Okay. You let me tell you something too. Let me tell you what this moon represents as well. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, your person's, either you or your person's people, they had hidden a, a, a agendas, right? With this moon, mm -hmm. projecting their bullshit onto y'all. I'm going to say y'all, because I feel like this could go both ways. Mm-hmm. Hidden secrets and emotions. Very, I'm going to tell you what those energy is jealous energy. They kept your person stuck and tied down because they were jealous of y'all's connection. Yeah. Coming into balance, peace, and harmony. There, yeah. Rewind the video. Ter Tempest card was the first card out. Mm -hmm. That's what that represents. Yeah. Taking back your power and the whole situation. Y'all going to be with your person. It's inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, and you're getting away from all this fucked up ass devil energy. I said it fucked up, period, because it is. You guys got, oof, child, the stress of it all. It's, it's about to be over. Yeah, vengeful and very spiteful. I'm telling you guys, whoever this family, friendship, whoever was in y'all for third party, I'm just saying third party, they were very vengeful and spiteful. And they did things, you know, secretly right seven of swords came out behind your person's back that your person is now becoming aware of and um uh, alarm you know they're they're awakening to you know people around them even their family and friends who was you know it's just so you ever have a conversation with someone and they just be and then they start talking too fucking much and you be quiet and you listen and you and you like and you start then you start putting two and two together you're like what the fuck Oh, okay. So you've been plotting against me secretly, Moon Card, this whole time. But your person, I feel, is not really... They could have addressed it with some of them. I feel like they have because arguments and fights broke out um, in, in the other deck, right? Before I pull the cards up. Yeah, they got some truth. Thank you, 1111 card. Yeah, they found out some truth. So some of them did... Um, address them or whatever and then, and now this is why you guys got this incoming love offer there it is 11 11 period yeah period your person is like oh y'all got me fucked up now i'm really about to go get my boo because y'all did all this goofy shit behind the scenes lying and creating all kind of uh illusions and shit yeah yeah listen because they regret and shame is unbearable your person is sick behind this. Healing is needed in order for you guys to move forward. Absolutely. They're, your person is coming in and they're going to need a lot of love and healing. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy is coming in strong for you. That Emperor card came out. That's Aries energy. Let's get into it. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Yeah, your person is so in love with you. Yeah, they're thinking about marriage and having a family with you. How many times the four of wands card had to pop out? And now it's in the intuitive deck, period. Your person wants to have, you want you to have all their babies. Listen, <laughs> I know that's a fuck right. I'll be dropping them like it's hot too. Fuck them people. Now just want <laughs> love yourself first though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, re revelations and truths are being told what I say. Yeah, that's why the moon card was sick because your person is just like it's starting to put two and two together. Like, oh, y'all was on some goofy shit for real, for real. And they were. Your person. And it didn't even take you to really have to say nothing. Your person is starting to see for themselves. And it took them a long time with the Knight of Pentacles uh, card that fell out to see this, right? 
but they seeing it now, baby. They're not about to let you go and 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 miss out on their life's abundance dealing with these goofy ass motherfuckers. Yeah, because we, before there was refusing to communicate to avoid telling you the truth. See that what, when they come in, they got to tell the truth about what's been going on behind the scenes with this moon card and this goofy ass family uh, and friend dynamic they've been dealing with, baby. This is what's really been going on. This is what I found out. This is the truth that I found out. You know what I'm saying? Just recently or whatever. And but you know you about to get all kind of apologies and everything, yeah. And then at the end of the, and their lesson desiring you heavy, your person loves you. When I say they in love with you, they in love with you. And someone was in it with them for the wrong reasons. Could have been a third party that they had ended up hooking up with, and all kind of goofy shit was going on behind the scenes. Everybody's storyline is different, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of sexual tension between y'all. I told because your person is up with you. They are less than desiring you, doing things to themselves, looking at your pictures. I mean, <laughs> Queen of Cups, you, you Queen of Cups, you, they let you. Yeah, you leveled up and blocked all the negative energy. Yeah, so basically you transmuted all of the bullshit energy that was sending and sending towards you to attack you and you guys sent that shit right back to the ass okay which you should have done that's what you were supposed to do on oh, period um so when it's all said and done babies don't even trip spirit got you everything these these vengeful spiteful motherfuckers that was sending y'all all kind of negative energy yeah don't even trip spirit spirit got all of this under control okay don't even trip Y'all good to go. I just think your person I, now when your person is coming in, now that you're not is, I mean, they are coming that now that they are coming in, you guys are about to be loved like no other. Yeah. This incoming love offer. Yeah, your person is about to love you. Love you down. They're about to love you down. You're gonna be like, what? Not you coming in. This is why I would want to be with y'all babies, okay? Don't be in my comments talking about, I don't want to be with them. I don't love them no more. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You love them. If they come in acting right, you're going to be, you're going to melt like butter. You know what I'm saying? But the key is just to pay attention and make sure. I don't see any negative energies from your person. You know, I tell you, tell you be like, nah, this, this person knows some BS or whatever. I don't feel that energy at all. I feel that energy of your person is finally awakening. Has and part did come out. Um, to the situation and you guys are definitely about to have um, a new beginning uh, with your person for some of you guys this is not old energy I mean this is not new energy I'm feeling in this reading I'm so sorry so if you're here looking for your new person this is not the energy that came out it's your old person that's coming back um, so this video will resonate with everyone so I'll take a resonate and leave the rest um, and if I would say this ain't even about no platonic relationship either. This is a true love reading. Okay, love bugs. I'm just got to keep it above. What's the potential outcome? Overall spirit for the collection. Make sure you guys hit the like, share, and subscribe button, babies. I truly appreciate you. Help the channel grow as well as the messages out to other signs who need to receive this message for reassurance clarity. Yep, the devil is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, yeah, they're hard at work when it comes to this love connection. Also, too, this is your person obsessing over this love connection. Not only is this your person, but this is other individuals as well. Yep. Gaining strength. Leo energy to come towards you. Come on, Empress. Show up in the reading. Your person is in love with you. This devil energy here, for the most part, yes, yeah, people sending you negative energy towards this love. And they're, you know, they're mad that you guys have the confidence to um, actually, you know, manifest this in for yourselves or whatever. It's definitely a heavy burden for a lot of people, okay? And it's a heavy burden for your person to be without you. But come on, listen, you're the Empress. It's, it's it's inevitable you embody so much love and beauty it's unreal you i mean come on you're all four queens queen of cups queen of wands queen of swords <laughs> listen
this heavy burden is driving your person crazy and these people around. Yeah, the fool. Because this, listen, the fool card is here. Aquarian energy. There's an Aquarius who's in love with you. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, there's an actual Aquarius who's in love with you and they're not saying anything and they're pissed that your person is coming in for you. Two of Swords. Yeah, because a decision has been made. Yep. To have victory and success. Six of Wands. That's it. Yep. And look at how all of this, I'm going to do a third row because what I'm holding in my hand right here is the tower. It's on the bottom of the deck. Listen, yeah, this is definitely going to bring a tower moment to these devil energies or whatever that you guys are about to have the 10 of cups. You guys are on your way to full um, blown out abundance with this king of wands, Leo Aries Sagittarius, who will not let you go. They're gaining all the strength and their power to come in with the nine of swords energy. I didn't shuffle these cards in front of y'all. Listen. They are unstoppable. You are their fucking baby. Are you dumb? Come on, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hand over here. <laughs> Listen. What? Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Six of uh, Pentacles again. Baby, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. They're in love with you. That's it. That's that. That's the period. Period dot. They know who you are to them. I just love love, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> no dead ass. I do. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Right? You about to be, I mean, y'all gonna piss off a lot of people. Mm. Especially the ones who was just like, you shouldn't be with him or you shouldn't be with her. And eh, 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 eh. they, you know, they they was finding all kind of negative shit to say about y'all. But in reality, they wasn't shit. Like for real. And I feel like too with the eight of pentacles, I mean the um yeah, the Eight of Pentacles that came out in the beginning of the re rewind the video, they was really working on, I mean, they was going over and beyond the Call of Duty to keep y'all apart from each other. That's the fucked up part about it. And your person was so unawakened at the time, which is why your person is kicking themselves. They wish they could have been in more high vibrational energy um, because they wouldn't have gone through half of the shit that they've gone through uh, while you guys were away from each other had they, you know, been in their high vibrational energy, especially when it came to you. Well, uh, oof, talking about slaying the devil. Mm. But you got him, <laughs> got him. Ace of Cups strength here, okay, period. Leo energy, your person is being very courageous at this time. And I feel like too, energetically, your person probably had to tell a few people a thing or two about themselves. Yep. But they're making, listen, the tower is also a powerful uh, and painful transition, okay? They're releasing these burdens. They're getting this devil off their back. This is, this devil is the monkey on their back. They're getting rid of that shit. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. But they are obsessing. I feel like your person, this devil energy, this is also an energy of them lusting and just obsessing and dreaming about how much they want to be with you, Empress. Yeah, so take it out of resonates, you guys. This is your reading. I hope it resonates with you. Hope it's giving you some peace and clarity and some type of understanding to what's going on uh, surrounding your situations. If you guys would like to donate to the channel, book a personal reading. Um, all of the information is in the description box below, even if it's a donation to the channel. Truly appreciate you because I buy new cards with those um, donations. So I love you guys. I see you on your next run. Bye.